Hey guys, so I figured I would make another tactical arbitrage video today, just kind of going over a little more in depth of what you should put for your filters, because this is an important part when you're searching for products. By the way, Happy New Year, uh, it's the first video of 2018, so I'm going to be trying to put more videos up this year. Um, I'm going to aim to do daily uploads, but most likely going to be posting around five videos a week. So, for today, let's check out the, so as you can see, I'm running a search right now. Um, I use the bulk row feature, which actually, let's just see, because we're looking at Toys R Us right now. So, uh, go to Toys R Us. And then the cool thing is, this is actually a really new feature. It's only been out for a couple months on Tactical Arbitrage, but basically you can add any of these categories and it will bulk category select those categories all you do is you say you want to select all the action figures on Toys R Us's website you click action figure and then add to bulk I'm not going to do it right now because I'm running a search but yeah so that's great and then because before you had to do one category at a time now you can do 500 categories at once so it is a very helpful feature and yeah, it saved me a lot of time. That's why I'm able to have my bulk rows of 500, but then each row has up to 95 pages just for Toys R Us. The other, um, other sites can have more. But yeah, so as you can see, it's checking products as we speak. And right now it's already found just this morning, it's already found almost 500 products that are going to be profitable to sell on Amazon FBA. So this program is crazy. I have a link in the description below for a 10-day free, sorry, a 10-day $1 trial. They want uh, $1 now just because there was a lot of people who had um, not proper credit card information and stuff. And then after the their trial was over, it wasn't working. And so they've done this, whereas I, I'm able to offer you a 10-day, $1 trial. It's Amazon and eBay Guru, all one word, is the coupon code, but I'll also put a link in the description below. You can just click that link and it will work also. But yeah, so for today, we're going to talk about the filter products. So this just shows you how customizable this program is. So say... Say you're on Toys R Us and they're offering 15% off all products. So then you put 15% there and that's added into the source price ad adjustments. Most places won't have this, but if you do, then you can add that in there. If you pay state sales tax wherever you're getting it sent to and say that sales tax 10%, then you could put 10% in the bank and then so it's very, very customizable. All of these have their own, as you can see. So, yeah. So basically, I like to remove anything over 100,000. So th this gives you product ranks that are going to be definitely going to be selling. And if, like, I mean, you, you don't have to put something here, but you, you could get products that aren't going to sell and then... That's not going to be any fun having like a bunch of money tied up in FBA inventory. So if you stick to under 100,000, you should be good. Uh, I like to do if the number of reviews is less than five, if the rating is lower, than, I usually leave this blank. Um, color from results. I remove oversized products. I remove out of stock products. I, I, I leave these ones because they're usually fine. I sorry I leave this one uh, this one I click on because I don't want to be selling when Amazon is selling it also basically they can always undercut you they're a much bigger company than anyone who's gonna be so it's not worth trying to compete with them because it's very difficult to compete with Amazon themselves um, what else is this? any of this other stuff no I think this is good so I mean this is totally up to you guys too but this is just how I do it. And I actually have a bunch of different filters that I use for each store. But this is kind of just a general filter. 
of what I would use if I'm just starting out. I just put 0 .01, 0 .01, 0 0.01, and then 60 cents. 60 cents is usually about the average cost per pound to ship to Amazon. So these, like I put this because it doesn't really cost me much to prep the, the items, but if, you, if it costs you more, if you're sending it to a center that charges more than you can, and I always do less than 10, at least $10. So I don't want to have a product that's going to make me $3 in profit for all the work to have it to send it to the FBA and whatnot. So uh, this is gross profit after all fees. And then, of course, net profit is after you pay your taxes and stuff. But for gross profit, I like to keep mine 10. And I like to do at least a 30% ROI, which is fairly low, but I like to keep that. And it keeps your parameters get uh, potentially other products that, that you may not have seen. And yeah, all this other stuff is, I usually just leave blank and then you just type in the filter to whatever name, name you want to name it, save the filter, and then the next time that you're searching, you're going to click that named fil filter under your saved filters and yeah, then you'll you'll have that already set up and you can use it each time you do a big search. Uh, we can see that this one's still running. It, it actually goes fairly quickly. Uh, 19, 235. Sometimes it'll do like four or five products at once. It's just, it's pulling as much data as it possibly can very quickly. So I definitely recommend this program. Uh, if you guys do have any questions about this program, I will, I would like for you guys to comment below and then I can make other videos about this because I want to help you guys grow your arbitrage business also and through Amazon and whatnot. So yeah, definitely comment below and let me know what you guys think. If you've tried the $1 trial, let me know what you think. I've had a, I've had some people sign up for the $1 trial and, and then convert into the actual paid program, which is awesome because the, those are the people who are, are willing to put the money out there to grow their business. And that's what you guys have to do up front. I don't I don't care if you're not through my affiliate link and whatnot, but I'm just saying you have to put the money up front whether it's doing Amazon coaching or taking a course or using this arbitrage site, whatever you, whatever works best for you, but you will have to put the money up front in order to get your business to the next level and that's what I had to do. That's what everyone who gets their business to the next level has to do is put some money up front in something that will help you advance your business and tactical arbitrage will definitely help you advance your business 100% like if you use this program and and uh, search for products every day you will grow your business no doubt in my mind so thanks for watching this video I'll put the link in the description below and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel thanks for watching